In this media you're going to learn about shipboard analysis and test. A number of shipboard LO test facilities are available which will enable the onboard personnel to identify problems and take corrective action. These simple tests contribute significantly to the preventing of serious breakdowns which may have very costly repercussions. Flow stick for assessing viscosity. The flow stick is used to compare the viscosity of the used lubricating oil with that of the fresh lubricating oil of the same grade. The basic method used is to compare the rate of running down of the used oil in relation to the fresh oil stored in a flow stick. If the used oil does not run down to a specified mark, its viscosity is higher than acceptable and this may be due to the presence of high insoluble content products of oxidation or ingress of fuel oil of higher viscosity. If the used oil passes another specified mark, its viscosity is lower than acceptable and this may be due to dilution with a lighter distillate fuel. Water Content Test Water test kits on board enable quick and reliable onboard measurement of the amount of fresh or salt water contamination of the system lubricating oil. The principle of estimating the amount of water is based on measuring the volume of gas generated by the chemical reaction between calcium hydride and the water that may be present in the lubricating oil sample. The test can also be utilized to assess the effectiveness with which water is removed by a centrifuge. There are test kits comprising glass indicator tubes containing a chemical which reacts with the chlorides in the ingressed salt water. The color change indicates the presence of chlorides, that is, salt water. Alkalinity or minimum TBN test kit. An alkalinity test kit is meant for easy determination of the extent of alkalinity, that is, the minimum TBN retained by the lubricating oil under tests. This method can also be used for checking whether the lubricating oil meets the engine builder's recommendations. The used oil is mixed with a specific amount of a special indicator solution and an acid reagent in a test well. A color change will take place if the acid reagent neutralizes the alkaline additives in the lubricating oil. The achieved color is checked against a color comparator to assess if the TBN is above or below a certain level. A purple color will show that the TBN value is adequate. A green color shows that the TBN value is in border line. And yellow or golden color formation indicates a very low value of TBN which in turn shows that the lubricating oil is unsuitable for further use. Thus, you have learned about shipboard analysis and tests.